it's Hannah from Hand Physio. Today we are going to talk about your rehab and why you might not be getting where you think you should be at this point. There's a few different reasons um, leading up to that and so I'm just going to talk about a couple of them. There are four that we're going to go through today. So the first topic is progressive overload. So the idea is that when you are going through your rehab, we start at the basics because you're usually in pain, there might be limitations, there might be something more structural that we need to um, give some time to heal. So that's the initial sort of acute sort of phase of our rehabbing. Um, lots of people usually end up ending their physio there or they stop doing their exercises, mostly because the pain is gone and they can do usual sort of function, um, but the thing that usually doesn't happen, again, is that progressive overload. So we want to continue to increase um, the difficulty, which can either be more load, it can be more volume, we can add frequency of sessions. There are a lot of different ways to slowly, progressively overload, and we want basically to get to whatever area it was that was injured. We essentially want it to be stronger than it was before we actually came to see you. So that's something that is often lacking in the physio profession just kind of getting the patient from that point um, all the way to that return to their activity or return to sport so check with your physio check with your um, coach make sure that you are getting those progressively harder exercises making sure that they're reaching your goals that you guys have set out at the beginning of the session next thing we want to talk about is consistency the reason that you're going to go see the physio is because you want some things to work on help with the pain help with the injury that you had um, a lot of times you can do those exercises maybe for like a week or two, um, but then either it slowly trickles off or say maybe you only do them once a week, but that's actually not enough stimulus for your body to have to adapt to. We want to build kind of like that sustainable, again, progressive overload with that consistency. So there's something that's called either marginal gains, uh, which you may have heard of, or just like the 1% rule. And so this is, again, working with building habits. So I'll pop up um, the image here from James Clear uh, website. His book is Atomic Habits. And that consistency is essentially building a bit of an exercise or movement habit. So you want that rehab to become part of your kind of regular routine for a little while, knowing that you might have to deal with it just for a little bit longer than that one to two week period. Um, so you can see that if we add in that marginal gain or that 1%, get that consistency over time, you'll actually see that exponential increase, which will lead then to your return to activity, hopefully that decrease in pain, increase in function. Um, so that consistency really is key when you are going through your rehab. Next is accountability. A lot of patients come over and over again, not just for the hands-on that kind of makes them feel better, not just for the programming, but they know that I will hold them accountable to their rehab program. So when they come in, we recheck um, our assessment measures, and oftentimes that already tells me if they have done their rehab or if they haven't done their rehab. But that is one other thing that having a physio um, can really keep you accountable. And so sometimes if you're doing rehab on your own or you just don't have that access, again, like the accountability, just holding yourself accountable. So um, I've created a little rehab tracker. Um, I'll attach it into the caption below. So this is um, the rehab tracker. And so what you can do is whatever month that you're working on, uh, you can pop in like the little dates in there or you can just put an X on the dates of the week that you ended up doing your rehab. Hold yourself accountable plays in with the consistency um, rule that we talked about last as well. So accountability is definitely a huge step forward um, getting those rehab outcomes and making sure that you reach your goals. One last thing that might help you reach your rehab outcomes that you wanted to with um, some goals of getting back to activities is making sure that you have a plan and making sure you prioritize. Well, when you're coming to see the physio, you want to get that diagnosis, but then you also want help with that action plan. Um, so that is essentially my job to create what is going to be doable for you. So whether that's one or two exercises um, every day, or if you're looking for an entire uh, rehab program for like your legs in general, or if it's just like very specific ones for an ankle sprain, there are lots of different ways that we can basically choose the things that are of highest priority. So the non-negotiables, the things that you have to get done, otherwise we know that we're not going to get any progress. So making sure that we can prioritize those things. Um, and then secondly is making that plan. So all of the things that we just talked about uh, before, so accountability, consistency, and progressive overload, those things are all incorporated into the plan that I'm making for you. So if you don't have that plan and you've just been looking at a bunch of different exercises, you see them on Instagram, you see them on TikTok, you see them on YouTube, and you're just trying to jam them together in this um, rehab kind of thing that you've made for yourself, again, it might help in the short term, but it might not get you back to those goals that you have been um, wanting to get back to for a while. 
of those things made sense and if you're in a little rut or a plateau with your rehab um, that these things are something that you can either chat to your healthcare professional about you can message me about um, on Instagram or you can email me and making sure that you are again doing those four different things so progressively overloading um, those consistent habits making sure that you're keeping yourself accountable having that plan and making sure you stick to your priorities